Revelation chapter 20. What an amazing chapter. What a great chapter for believers. In fact, some has called it Satan's last stand. Listen to verse 1 and 2. Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. He laid hold of the dragon, the serpent, who is the devil, and Satan was bound for a thousand years. This is the beginning of that thousand year reign. Satan is now bound. Listen to the rest of this story. John sees thrones in heaven with people sitting on them, those who are about to judge. He sees the, the martyrs, those who had died during the tribulation, who were faithful, who had given their lives and would not renounce or recant their faith in Jesus Christ. He sees them gathered there in heaven. The thousand year ends and the devil is released and now they're preparing for and gathering for that great battle of Gog and Magog. This is all here in Revelation chapter 20. And now the Lord shows up. Listen to these verses, verses five and 10. But the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he who has part in the first resurrection over such the second death has no power, but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years, those who are reigning with the Lord. And now comes that final great white throne judgment for all those who stand before the Lord and to be judged. And that book of life is opened and God begins to separate those who are in the book of life and those whose names are not found in the book of life. Listen what it says. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. What an amazing picture. And those who have accepted Christ and trusted in Christ, when the, when the book is open, when that great book of life is unveiled, there will be the names of those from the beginning of time, really, who trusted in the Lord, who believed in him, who followed him. And my prayer, and your prayer, I'm sure, is that my name is written in the book of life. That's the most important time in history for you and I, that our names would be found in that book of life because of what Jesus Christ has done for you and I. He took our place so that our name would be found, well, would be found in life everlasting.